Hey there guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Invader and I'm back ready to talk about some stuff regarding Nintendo. You know, I understand that N Nintendo have always kind of done things differently. They kind of go about their business not caring about what anybody else in the market thinks. Now, for everyone who doesn't know, Nintendo is foregoing E3 with the exception of a playable Wii U version of their new Zelda game. Something about focusing on that particular game. They also mentioned showcasing their new console, the NX, at a later date. I, know, I just find it weird that you know you're skipping out on E3, with the exception of the Wii U version of uh, the new Zelda game. It's a bit mind-boggling, really. You have the largest spotlight in the video game industry, and you would think that they would want to show something off. Possibly the new hardware they've been teasing for a year now. You know, I really like Nintendo. Growing up with them, I've always had a soft spot for them. A bunch of their properties are priceless to me. But the problem is that Nintendo, they haven't grown up with me and the rest of the fan base. They have a shoddy online service, Third-party devs haven't taken them seriously in years, and they aren't producing the, the uh, they aren't producing the number of caliber first-party titles that we're accustomed to with them. So, what's my guess as to when they'll show the NX off finally? Well, if their supposed release date is in the next spring, then I'd say possibly the Tokyo Game Show may be a good idea. That being if the dates align as such. If not, then possibly a special Nintendo Direct broadcast. Now, Nintendo have basically messed up my predictions for E3. In fact, I bet they've thrown a lot of people off as well. That being said, here's a list of things I could see them doing with their new console. I know the console is still a long way off from being shown, but let's just have some fun with this, guys. So, apart from the new Nintendo NX reveal, and whenever they decide, decide to show it off. Uh, I believe some launch titles for this new system will be the new Zelda game that they announced, uh, but more optimized for this new console, obviously, and a new Diddy Kong racing game, made by Retro Studios. Also, rumor has it that Beyond Good and Evil 2 is exclusive for the NX, so it could be a launch title, or maybe just within that window anyways, maybe six months after, something like that. I also think that we'll hear something about a new Luigi's Mansion game. It might be a launch title, and I have a feeling that next level games are going to be developing it. Now, following a trend with the Xbox One and the PS4, I believe that the NX will have popular ports of first party games from the previous system. Popular ones such as Super Smash Bros. and Splatoon will be there. I also think that Project Giant Robot will be announced as an NX title. It's a game where you can create a giant personalized robotic automatons and then they just kind of duke it out like Godzilla style. And I predict that that'll be a 2017 release. Also, I think that they'll finally reveal an achievement system. I mean, something that has been long awaited with them. Also, I'm gonna call out a, subscri a subscription service where you can access like a bunch of classic Nintendo games to start off with, and you get them at like uh, just the base. Uh, and you know, guys, what do I think that they'll possibly end off with uh, after they've announced said console? What could they have to show? I think we'll see a new Metroid game from them. I would love to see a new Metroid game. Uh, something, you know, a little more adult, right? And like I've said before, guys, it's just me taking some guesses as to what the future may hold. Don't hold me to anything, it's just <laughs> fun speculation. If I manage to get a few things right in the end, then sweet. And, you know, I, I realize that the Nintendo list is shorter than the Microsoft and the Sony list, but there's not that much to go off by now, but I have a feeling that we'll see you know, quite a few games uh, get teased from Nintendo, and we'll probably see a whole bunch of good ones. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in and watching. It's always appreciated. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, feel uh, please feel free to reach me on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my previous videos on Microsoft and Sony.
Ciao for now, guys, and see ya.